This is Jack Mullman, and we're in the Marriott Hotel at the Los Angeles Airport. It's uh, the 4th of July, 2012, and we're here part of the uh, American Theater Organ Society's annual convention. So we're trying to get as many of the people we can that uh, uh, have performed or participated in the convention. And we have here a young guy, 17, 17 years old, uh, Justin Lavoy. He was a finalist in the Th Young Theater Organist competition, played a stellar program yesterday on, a, on the organ uh, for the convention. And we just thought we'd uh, see what Justin has to say about different things. He's too young to have gone around the world like some of them, but <laughs> let's see what happens here. Okay, Justin, how, uh, how'd you first get interested in music? Not necessarily the organ, but where, where did all this begin and what age? All right, well, my musical interest actually did begin with the organ. I was uh, probably around six years old. And uh, we went to a church when I was that age. That was one of our first parishes, at least that I remember. It was a large Catholic church which had a Casavant pipe organ that was very visible in the choir loft. And I remember as a young child uh, looking up at that, you know, at the facade, the pipes. And, you know, really I was kind of interested in how that all worked and how it made all those different sounds. So I think that was when... Uh, when I first noticed that I was interested in the organ. And I think um, shortly thereafter, um, I began seeking electronic organ lessons. And um, as, a, you know, as a child, I could get interested in a lot of different things very easily. I had a lot of many, many little obsessions, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so um, my parents were at first a little bit reluctant because they thought this was another thing that I was just going to pick up for a little while and forget about. And as you know, an organ is a very expensive, uh, you know, it's a very expensive thing. So, um, but they did uh, sign me up for some lessons and I kind of started and stopped with it for a little while, but uh, the interest remained for, for many years. Um, and then when I started really seriously getting into music it was probably around 2008 when um, my parents signed me up for the ATOS um, summer camp program, which that year was in Chicago area. Um, and it was at that camp I got to meet uh, the great organists like uh, Jonas Nordwall, Donna Parker, and Jelani Eddington, who's now my teacher. Um, and so that was where I really began to seriously um, learn how music worked and began to really learn about the organ, because before then I played everything by ear. Okay, you didn't have any instruction before the summer camp? I did, yes. Um, it was primarily on the electronic organ. Um, the problem was, you know, when they tried to teach me how to read music and those kinds of things, at that age I didn't... I couldn't get it through my head how all of that worked. So I just kept playing by ear. And it, I always say when somebody asks me if I play by ear, I say no, both hands, both feet. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you, you started with Jelani Eddington as a teacher, and how is he as far as you're concerned? Well, he's, he's very rigorous and very demanding, and I think that's a very good thing because... Um, the, to be a really great theater organist, it requires a lot of discipline. Now, he's in, he's in Wisconsin, and you're in Michigan. How does that work? Well, uh, beginning in the fall of 2010, we started traveling um, about every six to eight weeks. We would go from um, our town, Canton, which is you know, about probably a half hour outside of Detroit, and we would drive the, it's probably about five and a half hour drive, from Canton to Racine. And uh, we would, you know, my parents and my brother would go as well. And um, so we stayed at the hotel, made a weekend out of it, and he'd give me instruction, and, uh, and then we'd come back. And now, where, where did you do this? You went there? Or? Yes, I went to um, Jelani's house in Racine. Yeah. And so that's been continuing ever since. Of course, uh, given Midwestern winters, it's uh, usually during the winter we try to do things like uh, Skype. We will, um, mm -hmm. you know, set up our webcams and. How does does that work okay with Skype? 
Yes, it does. I'm a, I'm a Skype person because I, you know, you can do video interviews with anybody uh, for free or just talk to them. Yeah, it, it works out very well, actually. And, you know, initially I was a little bit skeptical of it because, like, how are you supposed to get serious musical training over, you know, Skype like this with just two webcams? But uh, I have our three manual Rogers in my house, and Jelani has the three manual Allen at his house. And as long as the cameras are positioned correctly and the connection is decent enough for audio to get through, it works out very well. And I've learned a lot through those lessons in addition to the in-person sessions. Seems to me you've signed up and, and or applied for and won some scholarships from ATOS. Yes. Yes, um, for probably the past uh, one or two years, I think, and so that's that's helped out a lot um, with you know my musical education. It's really helped me to grow a lot, and um, that growth is continuing. And then you're going to uh, uh, get money for playing at the theater organ competition. We didn't have a competition during the concert, but you get paid for that. You get a free trip here to the convention, you get your registration, you get your banquet, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. You know, if you add it all up. Well, the, the pleasure has all been mine, and if I, you know, if I, if I had to pay for all of it, I would, because it's just been a great experience talking to people and hearing different stories about people that I've only read about in books and magazines, and, and well, the organ at the high school was just fantastic. I haven't, you know, that, that's one of the best organs I've ever played. Well, one of the things you're going to find out is having played here and people hearing you, and if you're circulating around the hallways, which I think you are, people or chapters are going to be inviting you to come play at their place. And are you ready for that? Um, I, I'm, I'm mental, you know, mentally, yes, I'd really love to do it, but musically I'm still I'm working on, you know, getting a full Building enough repertoire. Yes, indeed. Okay, now look, just looking way down, you're 17 years old, and looking way down the line, tell me a place that you really want to play, whether you ever get a chance or not. What's, what's the ultimate... It's, not that it'd be the end of the line, but what's the ultimate place that you think you'd like to play, uh, at least from your list today? Um, I think uh, there, there are several instruments and venues that hold that tie. I think that uh, theater organ-wise, it would be uh, the San Filippo 580 Wurlitzer in concert. I've played it before privately, but um, in concert. Um, the Detroit or St. Louis Fox Theaters in concert. And uh, last night I just saw Mark Herman and Walt Stroney playing the Pasadena, you know, the Fort Moeller in concert. And uh, I think that one day I would really like to get my mitts on that organ also. So you're after the big ones? Yes. but Not, not the little two manuals. Well, granted, I love those, but, you know, the, uh, the little organs are fantastic in their own way. It's like each one of them brings a, a different thing to the table. It's not like any of them are better or worse, they're just different. Do you, do you get the opportunity in your school to ever talk to some other kids around, you know, and, and try to drag them into, into this music thing? I know this, I went through this years ago and, you know, they've got other things to do and they don't want to deal with going to practice. Do you ever, do you ever get a chance to talk to anybody and try to get them into the organization? Um, well, in terms of school, I'm actually homeschooled, so the people who I have to vent to about all my organ activities are my mother and my brother, who sometimes get sick of it. Um, outside, outside of there, um, oh sure, I've talked to a lot of young people about it. People in my driver's ed classes, you know, friends of mine, um, you know, people at church. I really try to get the theater organ out there especially to a lot of my uh, church organist friends, you know. Um, the who... closet theater organists, we call them. Because yep. <laughs> I know a lot of the church organ, and they come over to my house with the theater organ. They're not going to touch it. But you know darn well that they probably could play the beer barrel poker or something on, on it. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's it, I think um, that a lot of church organists, you know, have a really great technique. 
and uh, it would be great to see that applied to the theater organ. Well, I've even taken some of my theater organ skills and played it during a church service. <laughs> yep, I mean, it works both it, ways. It, you sneak it in. Well, look at um, sort of bringing this to a close, and we don't know who's going to be watching these videos, but let's just say they're kids your own age. Uh, what would be something inspirational that you could advise uh, a young person to do if they even have any inclination of playing? All right, well, I, I would say um, the first thing is to listen to not only the great organists, but also to listen to the orchestras and the bands, because that's what the organists, the, the great theater organists of past, present, and future have always tried to emulate. And um, I think that, you know, listening to the, the jazz styles, researching the jazz styles and the music theory, all that is very important. Um, and also the other thing is to practice, because if you don't practice it religiously, you never get better at it. And um, th that's one of the things that's helped me, and for anyone who does want to, to learn the organ, I would definitely recommend them to just practice it, because it gets better with time. Well, that's very good. Anyway, anything else you'd like to talk about? Um, just, I wanted to say how great of a time I've been having here at my first convention. Again, it's just been an absolute pleasure meeting you and all the other very nice folks who um, were all sort of a part of this little cult. They were all names in a magazine, and now you can put a face with a name. Exactly, yes. Well, uh, this is Justin Lavoie we have here, finalist in the 2012 Young Organist Competition. Uh, we're here at the Los Angeles Airport Marriott Hotel for the uh, annual American Theater Organ Society convention, July 4th. Oh, it's almost about, well, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. And this is Jack Mulliman. We uh, look forward to doing another video with somebody, and we wish you well, Justin, and whatever you're going to do in the future. Thank you. Thanks for the interview.